I, I was at the Salsa Club in Philly, uh, it's all Brazils, and it was a Friday night, and I was there practicing, because Friday night is when you come out and you practice, because Wednesday night is when the, the really the gorgeous teacher, Sonia, is, is teaching the class, and then, I guess the reason why everyone comes out is because Sonia is gorgeous. But Friday night, I was there, and there's I was just mesmerized, because there's this couple dancing, and this guy was probably the best dancer I've ever seen, I guess, in my life. So after he, after he got danced, and he wasn't Latino. After, after, after he got done dancing, I went to the bar and like, you know, dude, I think you're the best dancer. And he, and he told me this SOB story about how he used to go down the line of bars and like just ask each woman to dance. And, but uh, we, we, we hit it off, and his girlfriend was a dancer. And the next time I invited him out to Cuba Libre, and we hung out in the back room, which is where you can actually dance. And he invited me down to the DC Salsa Congress, which was in a couple months. And DC Salsa Congress, the Salsa Congress is where people give up their weekends and they go to basically classes where you do these ridiculous routines and you try to learn all this ridiculous stuff and, and, and dance. So I, I figured I'd go and when, when I was down there I, I, I managed to piss off probably maybe three or four women because I couldn't dance. This was like my second month dancing. But I met, I met this guy named named Jorge Elizondo. Jorge was a, a friend of Mark's that he had been teaching bachata. And this guy, this guy basically just travels around the world teaching bachata to, to people. And we hit it off and he's like, oh, next week, you know, there's this Philly Salsa Congress. Can I, you know, crash at your place? And I'm like, sure, you know. I mean, we, we hit it off right away because, I mean, we could just sit there and, and like, you know, just chill and not say anything. So it was like a, a long lost friend. But, so, I was, I was walking in uh, Washington Square Park, and we were going to Brazil's, and I guess this, you know, normal American guy is like, hey, hey, who has the biggest dick? I mean, and, but the thing is, because if you're a really good dancer, you're, you're carrying your salsa shoes in a satin bag. I actually never bought salsa shoes. I, I didn't want to pretend I was that good. Um, but, so we, we get to the club, and, you know, Jorge, is, is, he's kind of a heavy set fellow. I mean, this is, this is, this is kind of why people will judge him that he's not. But once, you know, once he's there, I told him he had to dance with Sonia. So he, he got out there, and Sonia was interested like, oh, I don't want to dance with him. But, you know, as soon as he danced, you could see that he was not only the best dancer that night, probably not even, probably the best dancer, one of the best dancers ever there. I mean, this, I, I've never danced with Torre, actually, even though it was my friend, but Ruben, it's like, it's like sex on the dance floor. You can, you can see him. It's like seduction in action. It's like bachata. Is like is like porn on the dance floor. Um, but I've I've been able to just through Jorge I met all these people that were like luminaries in the salsa world. Like, and they would I would hang out with them and you know pimply face me. We'd go out down Salt Street and I'd be with three beautiful women and we'd go and eat yogurt. And it's like it's like a completely different. World. But then I would go back to the salsa lessons on Wednesday night and you know I'd be all nervous in the moment. You know, this is probably like my 50th time there, and the woman's like, is this your first time? <laughs> so, but I, I kept on pouring money, I had hundreds of hours, thousands of dollars, you know, it was just like, you know, my no expenses, expense account. I finally, my friend Adam's like, hey, let's go pay now. I, you know, I don't pay a lot of people that often. But he's like, you know, let's go to the Salsa Club on a Friday night. So I went to the, the Salsa Club on Friday, and Adam took the lesson, and, you know, they're doing their basic step. And then, you know, I, I decided to sit down and drink at the bar. I mean, I, this, was, this was basic stuff. Like, I mean, I'm like, I, I felt like I was actually not that bad. But after, after the dance, like, you know, Adams, you know, you sat up the lesson. You, you're going to have to go dance. So I, I just walked over to a woman who looked like a good dancer. I let her on the floor, and the music started. And, and for the first time ever, I noticed that people were, were actually watching me dancing. And people were actually looking like, they looked like they were looking at a good dancer. And I was actually dancing, I was making up moves, and you know, I, I felt completely, totally unselfconscious. And then out of the corner of my eye, when the song ended, I saw uh, Sonia, who, who's never on a Friday night, and she, and she was beaming and smiling at one of her, her, her students had, had, had finally made it to the dance floor.